Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play XCOM UFO Defense. I am Shellabix, and let's continue on the game. Now, when we last left off, we had just had a fairly successful um, battle with the aliens, where we managed to acquire some Illyrium. Yes, that's the one. Now, at the same time, we managed to down another UFO. So, we're just going to wait for the Sky Ranger to refuel. And then we're going to go and get these wankers. The problem is the Sky Ranger might take a while, so we kind of have to hope that this um, crash landing site won't disappear. If it does, we're screwed. Well, not really, but it would be nice to have the uranium. Uranium? Illyrium. Sorry guys, just woken up and I'm a bit delirious. Well, yet again, delirious isn't really the right word. Mm. Anyway, let's rename this troop here, because, like I said last time, for those who comment, I will name them after you. And one person did with a very good suggestion. The sheer fact that he had midget gems. So, body off. Welcome back to the fray, my good man. It's good to have you back. Now... Finally, I'm going to change this bloody thing because it is driving me mad. Damocles sword. Huzzah. Uh, no, no slash. There we go. Right. Now, actually, your strength has improved quite a lot. Hmm, you're not too bad. Okay. Now. Let's see. Have we refueled? Yes, we have. Now, let's put someone over here to make sure it doesn't disappear. And then let's wait for daylight. Because I don't, don't want to do this mission in the day. That would be bad. <laughs> yes, go to the crash site. Make sure it does not disappear. And while you're going there, we're going to send the Sky Ranger over. Let's go, team. Oh, this is going to be close. Come on. Daytime mission. Daytime mission, baby. Boom! Amazingly, we managed to keep it for that long. Alright. Let's do this. God, it's going to be tough. Now, one thing I want to do this time that I did in the other recordings, well, what I don't want to do is use saves. My god, I was save scumming in the last recording, so I'm not going to do that now. It ruins the game, and I was in a bad mood the last time. So, no more saving, apart from on the Geoscape. That's acceptable. Okay, Kaz, you're not having the damn rocket launcher, man. I don't care what anyone says, it will not end well with Kaz having it. The Copperhead Snake, you're ideally set up. You are our main shooter. Well, actually, I don't know. Space Scrape, you are our main woman. Look at you. JD Mallet Man, you're also an identical twin of Space Scrape. Oh, look at you too. Okay, um. Oh, what am I doing? Huh. Put that away, man. You'll have your rocket launcher. Up until the point where we get heavy lasers. Damical Sword, you are looking pretty well kitted out, yep. Lupniferd, yep, that would do, that would do nicely. Down the far left, otherwise I guess my OCD. White Lightning, there you no, you're not having two stun runs, that would be a bit overkill. Neon Genesis, a class act shot from what I remember. And Body Off, have your care. Okay, let's descend into the fray. And we're in a desert. Deserts aren't too bad. <laughs> Aliens! Right. Kaz. Actually, firstly, where are we? Right in the middle. Great. What do you see, man? You see nothing. Okay. Crouch there for now. I don't want you to die horribly. The Copperhead Snake. Um, 
you're slightly less defended. So go there. Oh. Oh, that was very clever. Oh, you see someone. Oh, there are any floaters. And that craft is right there, and it got demolished. She looks like a one man sort of craft. Gone. Nice shooting, nice shooting, my man. Right, now, cow there. Right. Um, JD Mullet Man. I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't use your rocket launcher on this mission. Um, so, Space Grape. You're gonna come here. Come here and pretend you know what you're doing. Um, you should face that way. Although, actually, I kind of think that there might not be any aliens left if it was just a one man ship. But we'll soon find out. Um, no one else around? You can crouch. Lumniford. Stand here and act powerful. Yes. Um, and we'll just move everyone else forward and leave JD Malamaz. <laughs> oh, poor JD. We will get him out if it gets tough. But if there was any traces of Illyrium left, which I highly doubt, I fear he would blow it all up. Oh, there are still aliens left. The first mistake I have made. Right. Save our game. And... God, he floated off over there somewhere. My God, he was ugly. Alright, Damical Sword. Let's see if we can go and brave it. There he is. Now, stay calm. Oh, we were actually quite close. Um, Kaz. Show us your finest shooting. Gone. Nicely done. Okay, we don't seem to be doing too badly. We're all still alive. It's always a good sign. Um, space grape. Venture over there. Nothing. Is that no? Let's play a little bit more safely. Look the third. We cover that area. Neon Genesis. Ah, we need you in the fray. Venture over here. Oh, and I'm sorry, guys, but I got a bit of a cold today. Ugh. Hey, cold. Due to a damn winter months. These bloody ailments. Okay. Cow over there. Did you just turn around? <sighs> Okay, sit there. And hold tight. White lightning. Venture over there. And play in the sand. And... Body off. Join here, in case there is any uh, aliens left in the UFO. Oh. Gotta admit that would be more impressive if you had actually hit him, but you didn't do too badly. I'll give you that, my good man. That was the copperhead snake. Right, you see him. No one shoots at us and survives, so obliterate him. Mm. Come on. Oh. You did exactly as you were commanded to. Good work, man. Right, loot the third. Act pretty. And go and hide over there by that skull. Why there's a random skull? 
Oh, never know. Now, Spacey McGrapey. Go ahead and stand there. You two! Venture over here. Try not to wander off too far into the desert. We might never see you again. Um, actually, I must admit, for this sort of mission, it's kind of good that we don't have heavy armor or, you know, personal thick body armor. So, maybe it was space that we're actually wearing these really, really thin jumpsuits. Although, on the other hand, they would be really impractical for an Antarctica mission. So, you win some, you lose some. XCOM are just cheap. And we did it! Yeah, we recovered some alien alloys. Mm. Well, that wasn't as good as the other alien um, crash site, but, well, it all adds up to our report. Right. So that's the Geoscape. And let's actually see how many troops we have. Um, we're going to actually recruit one more. Especially why Katie Chemical's out. Because, well, we need the extra blood. How's our base going? How's our research going? Poor. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Let's have some more scientists, actually, because, well, we need more research. So, welcome to the XCOM base, whenever you arrive. And because we're going to run out of space soon, let's build a laboratory. Oh my god, this base is really not set out very well. But, oh well. Right. Let's drop another save. And let's continue on our quest. Right, what's gonna happen? Ooh! Yuri Raglin has arrived? Hmm, let's see what you're like. Okay... Yuri, you are... quite good, actually. Yes. Yes, you are a fine specimen of recruit. Your bravery could be better, but your firing accuracy is... outstanding. You could only be the one, the only, Undead Eggmeister. Welcome back, my good sir. I am still haunted by how cheaply you died at the hands of the aliens. It was frustrating, but what can you do? Oh, well. Let's put your name right. I think I have. Um, right. Let's get you back in the craft. And actually, how much longer is Katie out for? A month? A decade? Um, 15 days. Well, could be worse. Actually, quite interesting how you're a captain, but you've only got three kills. Hmm. Well, your bravery is good. Compared to the Copperhead Snake, actually, he's got six kills, but his stats are actually coming along really nicely. Look at those. Space Great. Not as well, but you're doing okay. JD Mulletman. <laughs> well. Damical Sword. Yeah. Lipniford. Like, no improvement. <laughs> White Lightning. And, uh, uh, yeah. Neon Genesis. You are looking quite good, actually. You are a really good all round recruit. It's a shame you're right at the back, actually. We need you more up front, but... Oh, well. Let's uh, continue on playing. Come on. Ooh, production of medikits is complete. Yeah, so that will do nicely. Uh, let's equip the craft with those, because... Medikits really are useful. Um, and we need them. We need them badly. Where are they? There. I want everyone to have a medkit, unlike my last playthrough. You can never have enough medkits. And... Let's set our 
finest team of manufacturers to make Do I want laser rifles? Make some more heavy lasers for the meantime. Let's make ten. Actually, let's go for broke and go fifteen. Twenty-one days. Okay. Well, I want to start manufacturing cannons as soon as they come out. So that may not turn out so well, but we need the money in case this month's end of report goes absolutely crap. But it's only the 3rd of February, so we should be okay. Next year, we need to think about building a new base. Oh, excellent. Yuri Maliev, Muria Taylor, 20 scientists. Good, good. Let's have a look. Um, I can start researching something else. And in fact, I will in Alien Alloys, because we really need armor. We need it as soon as we can get it. So, there you go. And let's equip the craft with our new blood. Right. Uh, uh, that's everyone. And... Let's have a look. How good are you? Um, uh, you don't even leave. You are... You've got accuracy of 51, so we'll keep you for now. Maria Taylor. You're actually quite good. Um, your firing accuracy leaves a little to be desired, but your bravery, your health, and your reactions, and your stamina actually, make you a pretty decent recruit. So, we'll keep you. And do I actually have any names for them? Um, I don't think I do. Um, hmm. No. So, let's see how long they survive, and if they survive until the end of this video, you could be them in the next video if you comment. Okay. Right, what's gonna happen? Absolutely. Ooh. Yes! Laser cannon! Just what I wanted. It's got a bit of a crap range. Well, I know I'll say that. 21. <laughs> kilometers, but still. It's got a damage of 70 and accuracy of 70%. That is good. We want our two... Sorry, we want our two interceptors to have those. So, let's stick some research into... You have a navigation, you have a power source... Mind probe... Uh, oh, excuse me. I need to go for the small launcher. I do like the small launcher. Because it's really good at stunning enemies. Uh, ooh, that would be an upgrade for JD Malik Man. But for now, we're going to go for. Hmm. What is that? Ah! Laser cannons. No, that is tempting. Oh, stop! Oh, fuck it. <sighs> That's what annoys me most about this game. It's the fact that it skips. It doesn't give you time to change the time. Um, what do we have in stock? Um, it's a load of heavy lasers. Um, not enough heavy plasmas, really. Not enough stun bombs, either. Mm. Mm, oh dear. We need to have a terror mission really to stock up. Right, for now, let's research... Oh, God. Let's actually research Illyrium. That'd be quite useful. Because Illyrium, as I've been stressing, is awesome. But actually, I'm going to deduct 10 scientists, but 10 on alien alloys. And we're going to manufacture. Um, that'll do. 24 days left. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Laser cannons. Yes, manufacture four of them. Oh good, that doesn't take too long. But they are expensive. Ouch. So actually, let's sell some of our crap. 
pistols, we ever use them again. I will be horrified. Uh, let's sell all our heavy lasers. Good, good. Smoke grenades. We'll keep them for the memories. Heavy plasmas, I want to keep. Plasma rifles. Get rid. Clips, get rid of. Pistols, no. Get rid of them all. Stun bomb, keep. Alien grenades, not really. Mind probe, sell two of them for millions of cash. Keep on sectoid corpse. Keep on floater corpse. Keep on reaper corpse. And that's it. Whew. We had a tiny little profit there. Right, can we catch this very small craft? I'll be surprised if we can. My god, we actually do. Alright, let's go for a standard attack. So I'm gonna try and recover some delirium. Oh, but you outrun us. You swine. Come on. You will get that craft back. Go on. Rip it a new one. There you go. Come on. It's a scout. Crash lands. Hot diggity dog. Did I really just say that? Wow. Okay. Sky Ranger. Venture out to strange new levels. Right. Begin. I think it's raining outside. I hope you can't hear that. Cows, you're not having the fucking rocket launcher. Just get over it. Where's JD Mallet Man? There he is. You will have your rocket launcher. My god! Just take your rocket launcher and be grateful, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So, as you can see, we've all got medkits. So, on that previous terror mission, if we had had a medkit, um, oh, for God's sake. I forgot right clicking just immediately advances the game. If we had a medkit, and we had used it on Katie when she had her three fatal wounds, ow. We would have healed her and she wouldn't have been out for nearly as long. And we wouldn't have to risk her um, losing health every turn. So we would have saved her a lot of pain, misery, and suffering. But anyway, aliens. Where are we? See, just one Minecraft. Oh, yes, I think the Illyrium is intact. Uh, there should just be one alien. So, Kaz! Show us your badass accuracy. And tear him a new a hole. Mm, bit to the left. Good work! Oh, he's still standing. Oh! Luckily, he seems to have had a bit too much to drink. So, can you finish him off? I really hope you can. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was also close. That wasn't close. Okay. Ooh. At ease, man, at ease. Well, this alien, he seems to be retaliating every shot we throw at him. So, Mr. Copper. <laughs> that sounds wrong. We need you. Crouch. Get him. Oh, pinpoint accuracy. Oh, look at that. That's what you call professional. Done in one turn. Oh, we only managed to recover some alien alloys. One alien alloy. Oh, for God's sake. Was that even worth the fuel to get over here? Oh, well. You take what you can get. Even though it might really... Pain you. Oh, this damn nose of mine. Right. Time to think of what our next move is. I really want to try and find an alien base, so. Where's the activity? Um. Okay. Activity in Siberia has gone way down. Hmm. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a weird noise. Hmm. Um. <coughs> right. Well. Don't really have the right sort of data to start looking for one, so we just gotta hunker down, I guess. Which I think is a phrase in the new XCOM. I've never actually played the new XCOM. Uh, my sister got it for my birthday about three years ago. I've never played it, it's still in the cellophane wrap. Or cellophane. That sounds better. I really don't know why I haven't played it, but. Maybe I should one of these days. What do you guys think of it? Is it any good? Would I enjoy it? Hmm. Let's go. Right. Interceptor 1. Okay. There must be a base somewhere around here, because this is where all the crafts keep appearing. Right. Shoot them down over Nigeria. Standard attack. Let's try and keep the Illyrium alive. Return fire. UFO hit. Intercept damage. UFO hit. UFO crash land. Good. That's what I like to hear, man. Right, let's save that game. And let's go and launch an attack. Go, go, team. It begins. Okay. No, oh, for God's sake. No! Put it away, man. JD Malletman is clearly our rocket launcher specialist. Can't you see his awesome hair? Space rapism, because, well, his mustache is wrong. Okay, Kaz. Take your usual supplies. Interesting how Kaz looked like what I did in his XCOM. Um, Enemy Unknown 2011 Let's Play. Strange, but space grape, there you go. None for you. One for you. One for you. One for you. Another for you. One badger for you. Take it. And take that. You are completely unequipped. God, right. You are going to be a light woman. Just carry loads of light around. If we ever need you, my god, you will illuminate the place. Right. In fact, have some strap to your legs as well. You can never have enough flares. Okay. The new Marvel superhero, Light Woman. I'm pretty sure she doesn't exist. So, if um, Marvel suddenly create a Light Woman, then I claim all the copyright. Or I don't. As that probably is actually a light woman. And it was probably a crap superhero. Right, floaters. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Go on, Cass. Rectified. Ah. Right. Uh, I think we're in the far corner, actually. No, we're slap bang in the middle. Okay. Um. Oh god. Lots of open terrain, and yes, it looks like the UFO is rather intact. Wonderbar. Copperhead snake. You see nothing. Right. JD Malaman. Against all good ideas, I'm gonna put you outside. Space scrape. You're going outside as well. And Damocles sword. We need a well seasoned veteran like you outside. And Lupniford. Always good to have you out. And who else we got? And then my swash. Let's move you all to the front. And then we'll get you out with a squad. You'll be in squad B in the next turn. It's always good to get as many people as you, you can out. I mean, I know you're just opening up people to being hit more by aliens, but 
The more people you have out, the more chances you actually have of hitting the aliens, so... It's kind of your preferred viewpoint, I suppose, and... As well as that, your XCOM team won't improve in level as you know they're just stood in the Sky Ranger, so... You might as well get them out. That's what he said. Um, anyway. Hidden movement. Around the craft area by the looks of it. Um, go on, snake. Hide in this field. Crouch. Look, the third. You're gonna hide in this field as well. If we weren't in XCOM, this would look really dodgy. Um, JD Mellyman, why not? Let's get you involved. See what damage you can do. Quite a lot, I imagine. And you two, all three. What do you see? A load of apple trees. Um, not ideally what I had in mind, but. Uh, space grape. What do you see, man? You just walked back towards the craft. Oh, good heavens. <sighs> Alright, crash behind there. Ain't natural. Don't even have enough time units to make you duck. Hmm. Right. Let's get some people out. White lightning. Cover there. Undead Eggmeister. You can cover there. You may be getting a sense of deja vu here. Neon Genesis, now I want you involved in the base mission. Or the base mission? What am I talking about? Eventually, yes, I do want you involved in that, but I also want you involved in attacking this craft. Body off. It's good to have you back, man. You can stand there. Third line of defense. Yuri Maliv. You'll crouch there and cover his back. And uh, crouch and light woman. Yeah, you'll just run here. Okay, what's happening? It's all centered around the craft, by the sounds of it. There's not many aliens, but hmm. well, let's just find out. Oh, that has taken some damage. What's it looking like? Oh. Please don't be completely gone, Uranium. Illyrium. Why do I keep saying Uranium? <sighs> Probably good that is what it is mimicked off of. Um. I mean, it's called Illyrium. I can't actually remember what it's called. What's the number behind it? I'll look at it when we get back to the Geoscape. Um, right, you dies. You dies? God. Wake up in the morning, my vocal cords are still adapting. But anyway, you guys will cover there. Space Grape, you just walk over there. Crouch there. You guys venture into the cornfield. Maize or wheat. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And you, Damical Sword, will crouch behind an apple tree. These perfectly formed apple trees, by the looks of it. Hmm. Anyway, right, you guys. Undead Egg. We want you to explore the field. <laughs> Literally. Um. White Lightning, you will cover him. And then the other two, you're going to join in the alien craft mission. So, over you go, team. Body off. And Yuri Maliv. Right. What is going on in that craft? If they're walking around a lot, they're having some serious rumpy-pumpy in there. Jeez. Um, 
Right. Then the craft luckily looks completely obliterated. Fantastic. Ooh. Why can we never salvage any Illyrium? Why do Go on, Jenny Mullet Man. At this point, you wouldn't actually cause much damage, so... Let's get you over that. And Neon Genesis, you're a well-seasoned pro. You can go and back him up. You can't see anything. Right. You two. You can go down there. an eye on all angles, in case we get taken from behind. That really would be quite unpleasant, but hey, um... Undead Eggmeister. You see nothing. <gasps> you see someone! <gasps> He's floating! Oh my god! We did not completely expect this at all. Um, right, you. Kaz, if you can see him, you will be regarded as a hero among generations of XCOM soldiers. Oh, unbelievable! Oh! Mm. Oh, wow, you've killed someone, but <laughs> not that one. Good work. Clearly, Kaz was aiming. Oh. Is he just not the dream soldier? Oh. Kaz, you've done us proud. And you've ripped apart that barn's roof. Good work. We can now advance safely because of you. No. Oh. Well, at least you might get your firing accuracy up a bit. Damocles sword. Go and f hunt out those aliens. Along with you. Space grape. Okay. Mm. What are you doing? Ah. <laughs> I just heard this really, really random noise behind me, and there was an incredibly guilty Katie Chemical sat there trying to open a bottle of Pepsi Max <laughs> without trying to make any noise. Oh dear! <laughs> Aren't you going to say hi to the viewers, Katie? Hi. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Right. Now, I just saw an alien float on by over here. White Lightning, you will be the one to kill him. It was meant to be, and this shall be your destiny. Aha! You see him, but alas, you have no more hits. Time units. Copperhead Snake, can you perform off a miracle save? What are you trying to do, woman? Oh, you want your phone? Oh. Um. Oh! This is all going on. That's your portable communication device. And right. You can't hit him. But I know one man who can. Body off. You've clearly got the attitude. You've got the guts. Take a shot. No line of fire. Well, let's try and get you over here then. You might survive. You might not. <laughs> you guys are going to hide in this field because um, I don't want you to die. <laughs> um, bugger. I was hoping you could take a shot. Yuri. No. Oh. Don't aim at him. Um, undead egg. 
I'm feeling crazy and wild today. No, I'm not. Okay. Anyone here? Hello? Nope, no one. Okay. Stand right in the window where he can see you. Nah, I'm sure we'll be able to hit you. And you go over there. Do you see anyone? Hmm. And... No one else is down here. Unbelievably, I think we managed to kill them all. So let's continue... The mission. The doors over here. Oh god, it is. All right, team. Slowly advance. Let's flush them out. I think there might be one or two in here. I really hope there's no more than that. If there are, well, could it get a little bit messy? But we've got a rocket launcher, so this is infinitely more easier and more dangerous. <laughs> okay, save. And let's wait for them. You were almost hit by a boiling hot bolt of plasma. That would not have been pleasant. What is the boiling point of plasma, actually, I wonder? Hmm. Well, maybe one of you can tell me. Alright, white lightning. Stand in the window and have a here's Johnny moment. Get your kitchen knife out. And try and shoot him. Oh, good work. Right. We've now neutralised that threat. You guys can advance safely over here. But you just decide to stand in the smoke and have an equivalent of 50 fags a day. Good work. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... I know I keep ripping into the game's game mechanics, but I keep forgetting that this game is like... Actually, when was this made? Nearly 20 years old? 20 years old? Oh, God knows. It's pretty damn old, though. <laughs> Space creep. Let's get you over here. And I need to stop hitting my microphone. And... What were those things? Ah. Uh -huh. Well, Cas managed to down both of those. Good work. And I think we can safely say we're getting to the point where there are no aliens out here. So, it's all down to you guys. Who wants to go in first? Hmm, I'm not sure. So, I need a neutral point. Katie, who should go in first? Neon Genesis or Lupniford? Neon Genesis. Good work. He is a man we can all rely on. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Well, any chance of Illyrium surviving have completely been screwed up now. So, you're going to go back out. And we're going to wait a bit. Lipnifer, can you see anything? It might actually just be all the aliens gone. We did hear craft movement. Why did I do that? Well, at least to get a bit of exercise. <sighs> go there. And you go there. There is someone left in there. Let's swarm the doors in the craft. Ooh, this is intriguing. Right. Neon Genesis, let's get you involved. Oh! It's a bit closer comfort, actually. But we'll take it. Oh, there's two left, okay. We'll take you alive. Do you might actually die now. Um... Do I try and move you, or do I make you crouch? <sighs> crouch. 
J no, not JD Mullet Man. No one. <laughs> Go around, Snake. We need your accuracy. Oh. oh! Oh! How is he still standing? Oh! What? Come on. Ooh. Look the third. Cement yourself as a hero in XCOM history. Come on. Oh! Four hits! Come on. Oh, God. Am I really going to try this? <laughs> Anything to save Neon Genesis? Right. Oh, God. Jody Man, man. Please. Can you take an aim shot? You can! Hit him! Oh. Hey! That actually works. Unbelievable. Where is this last alien hiding? Is he down here, maybe? Or is he still in the craft? We did hear a craft noise, but I think that was just the door shutting as well we were stood in the entrance. Hmm. You guys, try and scout him out. Might actually be over there. Or there. Hmm. Alright. Count yourself lucky. Oh, you see him. Go on. Get him. Come on. Good work. Right. Now, back out. Copperhead Snake. Finish the job. Oh, you've got an accuracy of 12%, but somehow you always manage to actually finish it off. Oh, really? Oh, where is he? Oh. He's become unconscious. Oh, my God. No, Genesis, quickly, get in there. <laughs> I've never wanted you to hit so much more in my life. Um, oh, God. Jiddy Mallet Man. Equip your first aid kit. <laughs> Medic JD Mallet Man to the rescue. See if you can't revive him. Um, heal. Not the foot of God. Come on. Oh! Right, please be the end of the mission. We need Copperhead Snake to survive. Although, to be honest, with him in the hospital when with um, Katie Chemical, we're starting to get more troops in the hospital than actually on the field. Um, just everyone get in there. Can you see anything? Please? Oh, thank Christ for that. Whew. We actually managed to recover a live alien, and we got a rating of good. And no one died. Incredibly. Not enough equipment. Right.
Copperhead Snake. Out for 25 days. Whoa. Is he a man or what? And look at how much his stats have, like, ballooned. Look at that. Health has almost doubled. Firing XC has gone up a ton. Strength has improved massively. And his time units and stamina are awesome. Case chemical. Okay, she's going to be out for three days. So, we lose one great soldier. We get another back. That's fine by me. Kaz is an absolute man mountain. Look at that. 75 firing accuracy. Look at that health. Look at that stamina. Um... Space Scrape, yeah, JD Man. Who else has massively improved? That's not it, really. Well, incredibly, we all managed to survive that, but we have two spaces available, guys. So, if you want to be in the XCOM squad in the next round to fight against the alien terror, leave your comments below. And tell me why you should be in the Sky Ranger, and you could get the chance to be Yuri Maliev or Maria Taylor, aka Lightwoman. But I promise I will get out some actual equipment. <laughs> so, when we next come back, Mashi, have we got any? Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, that's all good. So, when we next come back, we eagerly await for our next move, and we start to anticipate a terror mission coming up. See you next time, guys. Have a good day.